from the Lakeside Newsroom of the Henrico Citizen, your hometown news source since 2001. This is the Henrico News Minute with publisher Tom Lapis. The Henrico School Board Chair is giving up her leadership role. We'll have details in today's Henrico News Minute. It's Friday, April 9, 2021. It's brought to you today by Henrico County. And now for the news. Well, just more than a month after she shared an offensive Facebook post that she said she hadn't fully read or seen, Henrico School Board Chair Mickey Ogburn yesterday afternoon resigned her leadership role on the board, though she will remain as Three Chop District representative. Vice Chair Marcy Shea of the Tuckahoe District will serve as acting chair until the board selects a new chair at its April 22nd meeting. Now, the position is largely ceremonial. Board members typically rotate the role each year among themselves. Ogburn's decision came a little more than a week after fellow board member Alicia Atkins of the Verina District had called on her to give up that title of chair and a day after the Henrico NAACP did so. Two weeks ago, during a virtual listening session with the board, a number of citizens also expressed frustration that Ogburn was not being reprimanded for her action, which they said would have drawn significant reprimands for students or employees. Back on March 5th, Ogburn shared a post on Facebook that lamented a recent decision by the estate of Dr. Seuss to stop publishing six of his books that it deemed partially racist. She wrote above the post, I love this, and Dr. Seuss books. The post contained a picture of the Grinch with his middle finger extended and a long poem written to mimic the Dr. Seuss style that criticized the idea that any Seuss books were racist. Ogburn deleted the post within several hours and said she had not taken the time to fully read it and was horrified by its content when she did. In the hours and days afterwards, she apologized profusely and took responsibility for sharing the post and said that had she read it in its entirety, she never would have shared it to begin with. That didn't really sit well with many in the community, though, who wondered what part of the post she did love and how she had missed its tone, intent, and picture. After a special board meeting March 10th to address the issue, board members opted to undergo required cultural sensitivity and implicit bias training, but it appeared that Ogburn would retain her leadership position. Wednesday's declaration by the NAACP that it wanted her to step down may have been the final straw. The organization said that Ogburn, quote, has displayed a years-long pattern of racial insensitivity and that it had, quote, lost confidence in her ability to lead our county's growing and diverse school district, end quote. Ogburn had come under criticism for a 2016 statement when also serving as board chair. She apologized to constituents after Glen Allen High School showed a video to students that was designed to illustrate the concept that whites often have inherent advantages over minorities. The video prompted outrage from some white parents who pushed back at the notion of what they termed white guilt that they felt was being displayed in the film. If you're looking for something to do tomorrow night, Intermission Beer Company at 10089 Brook Road near Virginia Center Commons will be hosting an open mic comedy night from 7 to 9 p.m. You can hear from locals, Richmond pros, and everyone in between. The show will be held outdoors. Masks are required if you're inside. For details, you can visit intermissionbeer.com. The show is for ages 21 and up. Today's Henrico News Minute has been brought to you by Henrico County's COVID-19 Emergency Rental Assistance, providing assistance for those who have experienced economic impact related to the virus, such as job loss or furlough. Applications are available at henrico.us backslash DSS or by calling 501-5294.